Tennessee is seeing a resurgence of nuclear energy, like the rest of the nation is. But Tennessee has become a leader in driving the new nuclear economy. This is a very exciting moment in the history of the College of Engineering at Tennessee Tech. In support of Tennessee's innovation economy, the College of Engineering has added numerous programs. We've added nuclear engineering, construction management, smart manufacturing, aerospace engineering, and high performance computing. We have grown by 390 students and our research has gone from about $10 million a year to $42.7 million a year. The College of Engineering has a long-standing relationship with Oak Ridge National Lab. Recently, we've added onto our relationship with a brand new MOU, growing our nuclear engineering program, advanced manufacturing for defense applications, and cybersecurity as it pertains to nuclear power and defense. The nuclear engineering program here at Tennessee Tech is in its first year. A big focus is going to be workforce development and preparation of our students to go into industry we're also very focused on trying to provide a very hands-on experience to the students. Uh, part of this is developing our laboratories so they'll get to work with the relevant equipment um, and instrumentation. And also I think we're going to leverage extended reality and virtual reality technologies. I got into the intro to nuclear energy systems where we learn about microscopic and macroscopic cross-section, atom density, and it made me realize how much I love nuclear. I've had so much fun. One of the exciting things about this program is the number of industrial and laboratory partners who come forward who want to help us build the program. There's certainly going to be good internship programs coming out of these partnerships, senior design projects that will relate to some of the partners, um, and also certainly they're going to help us with our curriculum development and our laboratory development. We're in the process of adding two new buildings to the College of Engineering. The Ashraf Islam Engineering Building, every lab is cross-departmental and creates the integrated environments that are characteristic of our workforce needs. We have uniquely designed and developed a management plan where different courses can be taught back to back. So that really opened up a lot of benefits for student learning as well as for faculty collaboration in this space. The Coltovich Outdoor Environmental Laboratory, it uh, came part and parcel as a part of this building. Not only is it a feature, but it is a living laboratory. We have our unmanned autonomous surface vehicle. So it's basically a boat with an echo logger that sends pings down to the water bodies and it measures the lake bathymetry. So I think that's a very unique opportunity that our students get to have thanks to this resource that we have. We get a lot of variety in our courses and we have a lot of beautiful labs that we can work in. I remember coming in and touring and just being amazed about how many options there are. We kind of had to go in and narrow it down. The second building, the Advanced Construction Manufacturing Engineering Building, is about making on a grand scale. In one of my advanced foundry classes, we designed a new foundry for Tennessee Tech in the hopes that someday we could get some funding for this. The rest is history, that we're in phase two of three phases with Cinto and our new smart foundry. Cinto America, we're excited to be uh, working with Tennessee Tech because there's only a couple universities that really dedicate their time to understanding the foundry industry. One of the things that is very unique about Tennessee Technological University and its ability to partner with industry, it allows our industry to help uh, work with the university to prepare these students to come out and be active in their working careers and make a difference immediately. The Foundry is my favorite part of this program. After I graduate, I would love to continue what I've done in my internships, test the manufacturing process, make sure all the kinks and everything are worked out. I've always enjoyed you know, taking these apart, learning why they work, putting them back together. And engineering technology gives me the most availability to do that. It's going to be a great facility, but not just the foundry, the whole Acme building. A portion of it is going to be for civil engineering. They're going to have a strong wall and a structures lab and an aggregate lab. We're going to have all the processes in this building because that's what we do. We're the process people. We make stuff.
in civil and environmental engineering, we're extremely hands-on, so these new labs will provide a lot of opportunities for students to experience hands-on activities such as mixing concrete, building buildings, or testing other materials in these labs. We'll be able to test bridge girders up to 53 feet long. We'll be able to test two-story buildings in the high bay space, so it will be all-encompassing for what we do on research as well as teaching. The College of Engineering takes pride in our students being ready for the workforce at the moment they graduate. Further, we take great pride in our students' ability to grow with that industry once they get out and graduate. And we're very happy to be here to support them in that development throughout their careers.